Welcome back. One of the most recognizable landmarks in the city of Pittsburgh is the bronze sculpture atop Mount Washington called Gaia Suda. Now through April, you can visit an exhibit at the Fort Pitt Museum that explores the sculpture created by artist Jim West. Yeah, he's nationally recognized for creating works of art in public spaces and museums. Selena Pompiani Matheson got the opportunity to visit Jim in his studio to check out some of his latest projects and maybe lend a hand. Hey everybody, it's great to be here with Jim West today. Jim, a lot of people know you from that point of view statue atop of Mount Washington with George Washington and Gaia Suda looking at each other and people could actually learn more right now by visiting the Fort Pitt Museum. Yes, we have a show going on there right now and we make a model before we actually make the large piece. It's called a maquette. The maquette is at the Fort Pitt Museum and Andy Masick from the Fort Pitt Museum and Heinz History Center have been involved from day one and Alan Gutchison and uh, yeah it's all about Gaia Suda. It's focused on Gaia Suda. It's a great show. It's going to be there until sometime in April. Well, you're a proud Pittsburgher and that's just one of so many different pieces of artwork that you are known for. What else are you working on right now that we can get a sneak peek of? I love Pittsburgh and we're telling a story about Pittsburgh and our roots that are obviously focused on that industrial revolution. So the piece is called the Alter Industrialism. So we've taken a lot of old uh, uh, historic pieces like the Oakmont Bridge that was forged at Carnegie Steel and we've taken a piece that was around, that was found in the foundry and we've put it, all these pieces on an altar. Because as much as we'd like that industry to be like what it once was, it's not. But we like to think about that, so that's the piece. And there's something else behind you. Could we take a peek? <laughs> or no? I know well, this, this is, is a special this project. Is, this, is the, this is the piece that's coming out that we're going to un unveil in the, in the fall. Oh, do you need an extra hand maybe finishing it up? You know, matter of fact, I, we could cast your hand today if you have some time. Let's do and it. And we'll make it part of the uh, sculpture. Fingers just a little bit open. Okay, sorry. Thank you. Okay, we're just gonna put it in here. Okay. Okay, and we're gonna put it down in there. Let me just make sure that, don't touch the bottom. Okay, now let's pour that in there. Okay, Matt? Ooh. It's a little cold. What does this feel like? Oh, that's too <laughs> cold, actually. That feels cool. Only a few more minutes in here, Jim, and I can't wait to see what comes out at the end. We're going to send it back over to the PTL studios so you can have my hand right there in person. Well, apparently Selena did get her hand out of the mold <laughs> because we have her right this here with so us. Cool. Isn't this cute? It's kind of like it from the Adams family, it's, like the little to, yeah, like, to walk. On the table. <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> It's really cool. And what a neat interview that she was able to sit down with mm -hmm. him and to learn more. Yeah, she has a nice hand. She really does. <laughs> Especially Selena. in bronze. And again, you can learn more <laughs> about Jim West and the ongoing exhibit at the Fort Pitt Museum by visiting our website, pittsburghtodaylive.com.